Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Hit the bell icon button so that you don't miss out any tutorial. So welcome to section 23 and in this section we are going to talk about resume website. So a resume website is like a website for a resume where you can um, display your skills, awards, experience, maybe job employment and interests and let other people uh, look at your accomplishments and maybe hire you for their own project. Uh, so I was going to create uh, the resume uh, project on my own and um, then I decided to Google for other resume a website that uses Bootstrap and I have come across this repository. It's uh, from uh, BlackRock Digital. Start Bootstrap themes. If you go to uh, this website uh, you will get to this um, project page but I went and grabbed this source code and made it a, a little bit different and mainly just the colors um, but usually when you talk about resume project this is what you're looking for so a sidebar with some text on the right and uh, I decided not to recreate the thing that is already created uh, and just to go ahead and use this um, uh, source code. But if you look at this source code over here, we have uh, an SCSS uh, folder. So if you open that up, we have some um, partials uh, and this resume that SCSS. And this resume that SCSS works like an index file inside of um, our project. So. I did not really like this project structure, so I grabbed the code and plugged all of those partials inside of the inside of our uh, project. Uh, so this is how our project looks like. Uh, we have the font awesome icons as well, and uh, one uh, cool plugin that I want to talk about, the JavaScript plugin uh, that is being in use uh, on this website is called JavaScript Easing jQuery easing. So uh, what it allows is to sort of smooth scrolls through the section. So we are on about section, but if we click experience, it's sort of smooth scrolls like that. And this is just anchor elements. So nothing too fancy. Uh, so this is the project that we are going to talk uh, about in this section, we are going to dive deep into the code. And one more thing I want to point out before we uh close this video off and head to the code discovery is the sidebar uh by layout it looks very similar to our admin web page but not really because if we inspect it in a mobile version or the tablet version we have this regular uh, nav bar but if we get to a water screen we have this sidebar so this is actually a now bar stacked vertically so we are going to talk about that as well uh, so in the next video we are going to talk about um, many things including html css and some javascript regarding this project and hopefully you're going to learn a lot from uh, this project and see you in the next video so in this video, we are going to dive deep into the code of the, of the project. And first off, I just want to show you my uh, SCSS and how I did the partials. Uh, so I have bootstrap overrides and then I have global that SCSS in then the index that connects all of these together. Then now items, then res uh, resume items. Uh, so uh, with index that SCSS, I have all of those plugged in. Uh, this is just bootstrap overrides. And again, I just uh, parted those partials inside of here. And uh, global SCSS with some global styles. And uh, now items and resume items. For resume it items, I went in and add the um, BAM naming convention over here and over here. So I uh, keep that in mind. Uh, I went in into index.html and looked for, uh, for, for example, resume section item date because it's like inside of, uh, it's inside of the resume section item uh, right here. And then resume item has the content and the um, date. So two of those uh, siblings. 
uh so that's that and um one more thing i want to talk about before we start going deep inside of the code is um if we go to go file.js i have this jquery easing.js uh, and jquery easing is this uh, option that allows us to scroll smoothly from section to section actually very uh, hand handful and useful um, handy and useful uh, library that you can have and use on your project so uh, as you can see i'm getting it from node modules and and it's inside jquery easing so uh, the simplest way to get it is to go npm install jquery easing and i will go ahead and do that uh, once again i'll copy this and stop my gulp and type in npm install uh, jquery easing and um, i already have this jquery agent i'll just go ahead and um, it will check for all of the files and if they're current version and so on and uh, here we have uh, uh the layout of what we got so we can then go into uh, cd node modules and go to j jquery and if you um tab once or twice it will give you uh, whatever options you have. So we have a jQuery folder and the jQuery that is in folder. So I will go ahead and navigate into that. And then if we go and do LS, uh, this will tell us all the files. So uh, I just went and added this jQuery that is in that JS. Uh, I don't know if I have showed you this uh, command before, but uh, and Unix terminals or Linux terminals, you can do PWD, which means print working directory, and you will get this uh, print working directory. So all you need is this node modules, copy it and do a forward slash jQuery easing and add that to your project and you will get this source code. And again, we are not pulling this into our um, JavaScript vendor because we are not going to change any of this we're just going to use it as is and for the rest of the javascript if uh, we head over to javascript folder inside of, inside of the source folder and head to main.js i just went and copied this whole thing so it's over here but don't forget if you uh, made any changes to go file you need to do uh, this function uh well, scripts and that will uh, compile all of the javascripts uh, files into one file then you are all set to go with your javascript so next let's talk about uh, the now bar or the sidebar which is the same thing in this project so if we head over to uh, the web browser and inspect this blue section uh, and, and let's just make sure it's hovered like that and Oops, that's not what we need. So now bar over here. And you see that it's selected with um, uh, the hover. So we have some regular bootstrap classes along with an ID for side nav. So let's go ahead and look at that ID inside of our uh, parcels. To do that, head over to nav items. And we have the side now over here and side now over here. So this is just regular spacing and options um, uh, for like font weight and outline color and stuff like that. Um, but uh, um, below we have the min width 192 pixels. So, and then we have this uh, width of sidebar base width. So it's a variable and height of 100% viewport height. So if we go to variables, we have the sidebar base width of 20 RAM and uh, actually it was 17 but i changed it to 20 so if we go back to um, now items uh, and uh, look at this 992 pixels basically what it does is at 992 pixels all of these styles are being applied to that uh, to that id including this now bar collapse uh, options as well and the most important options are these options so if we go ahead and inspect uh, this web page 
get to the mobile view and go to 991 pixels that's still that is um less than 192 pixels so we have this options being applied but if we get to 992 we still have the sidebar uh, so uh, this is a very i would say intelligent way of creating a, a resume web page um, because uh, this is enough no matter how you're looking at it from a desktop version of a website or from a mobile version and uh, actually it's very easy as you have seen to to make it into like a static sidebar navigation item on your web page uh, so uh, this is uh, it for and decide now and next i want to look at some other css options that this project has therefore let's head over to mixin.scss and we have two mixins over here one for body font and the other one is for heading font and uh, base both of them are font families and um, the font families come from uh, google apis for fonts from google apis so uh, does that and to include them if we go to glob global.scss we have this include body font so that's how you include uh, the mixins uh, so that's about it for this project there is not really much more that i want to cover um, besides uh, the fact that we have already covered uh, if mainly like the rest of the web web page and and the icons and the text is all pretty simple is pretty straightforward and i just want to uh don't want to waste your time on that thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you like the video do give us a thumbs up and share it also check out amazing discounts and offers on our premium courses in the description below